Welcome back to another episode of the Pivot Pathways podcast. I'm your host, and today we're diving into something incredibly powerful that we all possess, our voice. Not just the sounds we make, but the power behind those sounds, the impact they can have, and how they can change our lives and the lives of those around us. So grab a drink, get comfortable, and let's embark on this journey together. You know, the human voice is truly remarkable. It can start wars or profess love. It can inspire millions or cut like a knife. Yet many of us feel unheard, overlooked, or misunderstood when we speak. Why is that? And how can we change it? Let's start by looking at what I like to call the seven deadly sins of speaking. Now, I'm not saying we're all guilty of these, but they're so easy to fall into and they can seriously dampen our impact. The first is gossip. You know, talking about someone who's not present and not in a good way. It's toxic and it creates mistrust. Next, there's judging. When we judge others in our conversations, we build walls, not bridges. Then there's negativity. Complaining, criticizing, it's a black hole that sucks the life out of any conversation. Excuses are another sin. They shift the blame onto others and make us seem unreliable. Embroidery or exaggeration demeans our language and makes us less believable. And of course, lying. No one wants to listen to someone they can't trust. Lastly, there's dogmatism, confusing facts with opinions. It's a surefire way to close minds and stop conversations. But hey, we're not here to dwell on the negatives. Let's talk about how we can make our voice a powerful force for good. I like to think of these as the four cornerstones of powerful speech. They spell out the word hail. It stands for honesty, being true, being straight. It's the foundation of any powerful speech. When you speak with honesty, people can feel it. They know you're genuine, and that builds trust. Honesty isn't always easy, especially when the truth might not be what others want to hear, but it's crucial. It's the bedrock upon which all meaningful communication is built. It is for authenticity, standing in your own truth, being yourself. People can spot a fake a mile away, so be you, unapologetically. Authenticity is about embracing who you are, with all your quirks and imperfections. It's about speaking from the heart and not trying to be someone you're not. When you're authentic, your voice carries a unique resonance that others can't help but respond to. I is for integrity, being your word, doing what you say. It builds trust and makes people want to listen to you. Integrity is about aligning your actions with your words. It's about being reliable, dependable, and consistent. When you have integrity, people know they can count on you, and that makes your voice all the more powerful. And L is for love, wishing people well, even when you're being honest. It tempers your words and makes them so much more powerful. Love doesn't mean you have to agree with everyone or never criticize. It means you approach every conversation with kindness and compassion. It means you speak with the intention to uplift, not to tear down. Now, it's not just what you say, it's how you say it. Your voice is an incredible toolbox, and most of us have barely opened it. Let's change that. Let's talk about some of the tools you've got in there. First, there's register. It's about where your voice sits, up in your nose, in your throat, or down in your chest. Deep voices, they resonate, don't they? They command attention. Think about some of the most powerful speakers you know. Chances are they have a deep, resonant voice. That's not a coincidence. A lower register can make you sound more authoritative and confident. Then there's timber. It's the texture of your voice. Is it smooth, rich, warm? Don't worry if it's not, you can train it. A voice coach can help you with that. Timber is like the color of your voice. It's what makes your voice unique and recognizable. By working on your timbre, you can make your voice more appealing and engaging. Next, let's talk about prosody. It's the sing-song in your voice, the way you use pitch and pace to convey meaning. It's what makes people want to listen to you. Prosody is like the music of your speech. It's what gives your words rhythm and melody. By varying your pitch and pace, you can make your speech more dynamic and captivating. And hey, let's not forget volume. You can use it to grab attention, to emphasize a point, or to draw people in. But remember, don't sodcast. Nobody likes a broadcast of noise they didn't ask for. Volume is a powerful tool, but it's one that needs to be used wisely. Too loud, and you'll overwhelm your listeners. Too soft, and you'll lose their attention. 
The key is to find the right balance. Now you might be thinking, this is all well and good, but what about when it really matters? What about job interviews or presentations or asking for a raise? Well, that's when you pull out all the stops. That's when you warm up your voice. You heard me right. Just like a singer before a concert, you need to warm up. Let's imagine a world where we all speak powerfully, where we listen consciously, where our environments are designed for sound. What would that world be like? It would be a world that sounds beautiful, where understanding is the norm. And that, my friends, is an idea worth spreading. You know, I've been on my own journey with my voice. I've made mistakes. I've fallen into the traps, but I've learned and I'm still learning. And the one thing I know for sure is that our voices have power. They can change lives. They can change the world. Let me tell you a story. A few years ago, I was at a conference and I heard a speaker who just blew me away. She wasn't loud or flashy. She didn't use big words or fancy slides, but she spoke with such honesty, such authenticity, such integrity, and such love that the whole room was captivated. She talked about her journey, about the challenges she'd faced and the lessons she'd learned. She talked about her dreams for the future and her hopes for the world. And by the end of her talk, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. That's the power of the voice. That's what happens when you speak from the heart and connect with people on a deep emotional level. So how can you harness that power in your own life? Well, it starts with awareness. Pay attention to how you speak. Notice when you fall into the seven deadly sins and make a conscious effort to avoid them. Practice the four cornerstones of powerful speech. Make honesty, authenticity, integrity, and love the foundation of all your communication. And don't forget to use the tools in your voice toolbox. Experiment with register, timbre, prosody, and volume. See how they can enhance your message and make your voice more engaging. And remember to warm up before any important conversation or presentation. It might feel silly at first, but trust me, it makes a world of difference. But it's not just about you. It's also about how you listen to others. Powerful communication is a two-way street. It's about speaking and listening, giving and receiving. So practice active listening. Really pay attention to what others are saying Show them that you value their words and their thoughts. Because when you listen with respect and empathy, you create a space where meaningful conversation can flourish. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Meaningful conversation, connection, understanding. That's the power of the voice. That's what we're all striving for. And it's within our reach. It's within your reach. You know, there's a quote I love. It's by the poet Muriel Rukeser, and it goes like this. The universe is made of stories, not of atoms. I think that's so true. Our lives are made of stories. Our relationships are made of stories. Our world is made of stories. And our voices are the instruments we use to tell those stories. So let me leave you with this thought. Your voice is a gift. It's a tool. It's a weapon. Use it wisely. Use it consciously and watch the world change around you. Use it to tell your story, to share your truth, to connect with others and to make a difference because your voice matters, your story matters, you matter. And remember, you're not alone on this journey. We're all in this together. We're all learning, growing, and evolving, and we can help each other along the way. So let's support each other. Let's encourage each other. Let's listen to each other. And let's use our voices to create a world that sounds beautiful. That's all for this episode of the Pivot Pathways podcast. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Remember, your voice matters, so use it, own it, and make your impact. Until next time, keep pivoting, keep growing, and keep making your mark on the world. Take care.